Human life has never been more appealing. Never before has healthcare been so advanced, food been more delicious, communication been more instant, and electricity more widespread. Despite all of the success that our species has faced as a whole, several daunting challenges remain unsolved, of which arguably the most important is stress. What is the cause of the stress pandemic that is prevalent in the modern world, and can we do anything about it? Stress. Everyone feels stress from time to time. Stress is the body's reaction to an unpleasant or overexerting situation that can often result in mental tension. This means that even during a regular workout, our bodies are experiencing the same phenomenon as what results from a test deadline. Stress is caused by the stimulated release of a, an array of neurotransmitters. The most commonly known neurotransmitter is cortisol, which is released by the two adrenal glands located at the top of our kidneys. Cortisol is already released on a regular basis, in tandem to our circadian rhythm in the early morning. We explained more of this concept in the value of sleep video. You can go check it out afterwards. However, when the body encounters an unnaturally stressful situation, more cortisol is released, which streams outwards to bind to receptors. There are plenty of cortisol receptors in the body due to their crucial role in maintaining homeostasis. Cortisol brings about various changes to the body, including regulation of digestion, reproduction, immunity, and increasing blood sugar levels. In fact, cortisol is one of the body's primary long-term stress hormones. Unlike cortisol, epinephrine, or adrenaline, norepinephrine, or noradrenaline, and dopamine are all responsible for a short-term stress response. The three neurotransmitters, which fall under the general category of catecholamines, are responsible for increasing blood pressure, heart rate, breathing rate, and blood sugar levels. Similarly, a hormone called vasopressin modulates blood pressure and water metabolism. When the body encounters a stress-inducing event, these catecholamines are released in large amounts. This is the reason why many people report experiencing an adrenaline rush when encountering a large threat, such as an assassin or an audition. Interestingly, chronic stress has been shown to affect the level of serotonin, a neurotransmitter that regulates mood, in the brain. Why we're stressed. Origins of stress. Stress served an indispensable role in the lives of our ancestors. Millions of years ago, long before the advent of modern civilization, some of the largest threats to the survival of people were that of the forces of nature, such as becoming a meal to lions. To prevent entire populations from being wiped out from external threats, our body evolved a fight-or-flight reflex. In the face of danger, our ancestors instinctively hurled their spears at the lion or ran away from it. During these reflex, our ancestors experienced heightened concentration and much more agile muscles that allowed for them to spring off with the slightest provocation. This is why stress plays an integral role in our everyday lives. For our ancestors, whether they were stressed or not was a matter of life and death. 
Indeed, occasional stress does help with handling the events in our lives and reminds us to practice welfare assessments and interviews, escape crime avenues, and handle a first date with professionalism. Yet, for the majority of the population, this occasional stress evolves into a debilitating medical condition that induces an entire range of taxing, if not lethal, symptoms. Why Stress Murders? Our bodies have been programmed to self-regulate the amount of stress hormones present such that once a stressful event has passed, the hormone levels drop. Unfortunately, the glittering modern world, with its extensive social media, beauty advertisements, sports rivalry, and school or work life, is generating a constant stream of stressors. This constant state of being stressed is what psychologists refer to as chronic stress. The constant stimulus of stress hormones is debilitating, to say the least. Studies have demonstrated that chronic stress brings about some of the most unhealthy symptoms that one can experience. Uneven muscle tensions, altered respiration patterns, nausea, headaches, memory impairment, insomnia, hypersomnia, parasomnias, cardiovascular diseases, obesity, arthritis, hypertension, Atherosclerosis, anxiety, and depression are all common side effects of chronic stress. The largest problem with chronic stress is that it generates a self-enforcing vicious cycle. The feedback lo loops go something like this. Constant stress causes people to lose concentration, which decreases work quality and subsequently income. Reduced income causes people to become prone to making risky decisions, such as gambling or overdosing on drugs, in order to alleviate the heavy toll on the mind that results from debts. Conducting these risky actions often lead to a medical condition. In turn, these medical conditions hinder the person from working efficiently, decreasing work quality, and starting the cycle anew. Meanwhile, poor health requires people to seek medical attention, which costs more than most people can afford. In turn, this results in financial stress, which causes many people to opt to not seek professional aid. This reluctance to seek out help worsens the person's health. Solutions Because of the myriad of terrifying aftermaths that chronic stress brings about, the problem may seem insurmountable. Indeed, there are no magic pills or secret formulae to cure stress. However, there are a range of methods that can mitigate or even solve chronic stress. Chronic stress often stems from a person's surroundings or lifestyle. So, in order to er eradicate chronic stress, a fundamental and targeted change to habits must occur. Getting outside and exercising regularly, which may seem trivial, is crucial in reducing stress. When exercising, the body releases serotonin and dopamine, hormones that induce a pleasant mood. This therefore counters the apathy or negativity that can result from chronic stress. Working out also frees up muscle tensions and restores rep respiration patterns. Yoga and other relaxation exercises such as meditation clears up the mind from distracting thoughts, improving memory integrity and aiding in nausea and cephalgia. Getting more sleep, or at least trying to get more sleep, boosts concentration as well, while washing away harmful substances. Your diet plays a paramount role in the solution. A balanced diet, in addition to providing the body with all of the required nutrients, reduces the risk for atherosclerosis, which is a condition that thins blood vessels, aids in digestion, and boosts the immune response. Finally, reaching out to a friend, family member, or trusted acquaintance to help you with your recovery process from chronic stress is crucial. 
Fighting through an untracked jungle is far easier with a group of supportive people than alone. Of course, these are general solutions, and everyone's situation is slightly different. But if you feel that you cannot handle your situation by yourself, please seek out the help and guidance of a professional psychologist or counselor. Sometimes the situation becomes so drastic that the victim of chronic stress may resort to suicide or self-harm. If you or someone you know is beginning to incline toward suicide, inform your health advisor or call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline immediately. While many people are prevented from doing so by social stigma, remember that someone's life is on the line, quite literally.